Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me on this look. And I'm also going to be talking about um, long distance relationship tips. So if you guys are interested in that um, and want to know more, um, definitely keep watching because I think I'm an expert at this point. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested, then let's keep watching. I'm literally dead and I look so bad. I just woke up. And I have to leave in like 30 minutes. So let's see how, how fast we can do this. Um, I put my outfit on because it's like you have to put it from the top up. And it was probably going to get like dirty if I put it on after. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make a video about like long distance relationship tips. Because I feel like an expert at this point. Because um, I'm coming up towards like the end of it. And like... I've been doing it for like a good year and a half. By the end of it, it's going to be two years of me doing long distance with my boyfriend of three years. And I think um, I've accumulated a lot of things because I'm someone who with very like anxious attachment style initially in the relationship with my boyfriend. But I've obviously worked through those things but i wanted to share some tips that i think really helped me overcome that anxiety of not being able to see your partner all the time um my first tip is that i would um plan the next time that you guys are going to see each other before you guys depart like so basically when i was there i would make a plan me and my partner would split like 50 50 like whenever i come the next time he comes so basically what we would do is like when i came we already knew when he was gonna be coming to me or we would plan that out on that trip like okay i came then like what's your availability looking like for the next like few weeks and initially um first quarter i would go up to la every other weekend and this is when prices were pretty like reasonable like up to 70 dollars for one way which is still expensive but if you look at tickets to la right now like you're kind of you're gonna be like well, what's going on basically because they're like up to 300 dollars is a good deal now for la which is literally insane compared to the like 120 you know 140 i would pay initially um but i would go frequently in the beginning just because again my anxious attachment and also because we were so used to seeing each other every day i think it was nice that like we sort of transitioned i was lucky enough to be able to afford to do that where i could see him frequently for the first quarter and then like slowly dip it off from there um, and now we see each other like once a month like once a month i go to la then the other month he comes to me in the bay area then vice versa so having like a organized schedule of when you guys are going to see each other next i think it's really really helpful because then when you guys are at the airport you'll be like okay see you in like x amount of time versus like i think it's harder when you don't know because then you're just like constantly thinking about like oh my god i don't know when i'm gonna see you like sad you know not being able to know when you're gonna see your partner i think my second biggest tip is communication because like it's easy when you're in person to like show like love or whatever but it's harder when it's just constantly like through text For example for me words of affirmation is really important if i'm not being able to see my partner like physically um just hearing like the verbal affirmation that no i still love you again having to do with my anxiety um at the time i think it was really helpful that for me to address that with my partner and be like hey are you able to like kind of like give me some validation while we're apart um more frequently and obviously figuring out what your partner values too i would say the next big tip is plan some sort of like date with your partner on facetime or something or like some sort of activity that you guys can do together to make it more like normal versus just like doing a regular call all the time for example like me and my boyfriend we like to play those iphone games so we would like play clash right now our favorite is clash royale um uh, no clash of plants i wanted the two we would play that or we used to play mario kart like the mobile version um or fortnite um like some sort of game and activity to do together that you would be able to do normally 
if you guys were being able to physically see each other but just on the call because then it just makes it feel normal and being in long distance like seeing everyone else like do these like normal relationship things like dating or going even just to like drive through the restaurant and pick up picking up food and bring it back to the place or whatever and so i think it's important to just like find other ways to like feel like a normal couple because obviously long distance is pretty like you know abnormal obviously thanks to like modern technology it's a lot easier and just finding little ways to feel like you guys are in a still in a relationship and not just like pen pals this is the outfit um i just blow dried my hair which is why it looks a little poofy but i know it's gonna die down i'm really liking the bangs i don't know what do you guys think i feel like it makes my face look a little bit more fuller um now we're gonna do lips but i think to go along with what i was saying earlier like about anxious attachment like what really helped me was my boyfriend putting in that effort because i think it's so easy during long distance to like sort of not put that effort in anymore but it's so important to still put in that effort especially in long distance if not more effort because you're not able to see each other and so i think my boyfriend did a good job of like listening to my needs and doing that during long distance which really helped with my anxious attachment to like go away and i feel definitely a lot secure in the relationship my blush is so uh, red but it's okay i've been doing that a lot recently for some reason and that is the end of this get ready with me um comment down below if you guys want part two these are just a few of the billion tips that i probably had but i feel like these are the couple most important ones but let me know what type of videos you guys want to see in the future and um thank you guys so much for getting ready with me and for all the support the subscribers and everything so close to 100 um but yeah see you guys in next week's video bye